Oh. Hello, people! I am fake news anchor and real-life Tom Brady impersonator Evan Gruders. This is what we missed, the part of the show where we cover topics we failed to predict while adjusting our points for the predictions we did make. We're the DNC of TSTV. I'm white, I'm right, and I'm ready for points. Let's get into it. This past Tuesday, CEO Bob Iger announced his resignation from the Walt Disney Company effective immediately. Frankly, it was a matter of time before the cryotechnology advanced far enough to reanimate Walt Dismember's head and allow him to take back the throne once and for all. All hail our mouse overlord. Recently, a type of fish named the monkey face prickleback was found eating algae as its only source of food. Scientists believe that this fish will be the answer to world hunger, and honestly, I can't believe my ex is out in the world doing big things. Good for you, Jessica. Mm -hmm. In case you didn't notice the millions of Bernie hats and signs, there was a Bernie Sanders rally here in Austin. Bernie quickly realized the rally was kind of pointless because he just transformed it into a giant orgy, which is why Bernie loves visiting college students. Our very own Keegan Zipper was at the rally, but couldn't find any action, so he got cuckolded by Bernie Sanders. Who thought this was a welcome change, since usually it's him being cuckolded by the Democratic Party? Disney has announced their first LGBT character will appear in their new movie, Onward. Well, at least the first, since Elsa, Dory, LeFou, Ursula Gaston, Li Shang, Jumba Pleakley, King Candy, mm, Boyd, Hades, Timon, Pimba, and obviously Scar. This week, the CDC announced the coronavirus might be bad. Lucky for you viewers and our Next Week Now members, we don't socialize or even look at direct sunlight. Therefore, a chance at getting the virus is slim to none. Let's hear it for introverts. Speaking of the coronavirus, as it cuts its path through Italy, it's leaving many vacationers stranded. Among these vacationers is American actor Tom Cruise, who's trapped in his Venice hotel room. Italy, you can keep him. He's yours now. We don't, he's good. Keep him, please. So Harvey Weinstein just got convicted of rape. Woo! Good. Like, no joke. That is the, he, good. They should be punished. 300 points for actual justice being served. Yeah. Come on, people. Woo! Thank you, thank you. With Britain finally Brexiting, Greece has asked for the Britain to give back their ancient Parthenon statues, which is really just Greece kind of asking for a hoodie back after the messy breakup. Also means that with Brexit, Britain has now physically and literally lost their marbles. <laughs> Last week, Donald Trump complained that Parasite shouldn't have won Best Picture, saying that a movie like Gone with the Wind should have won. Leave it to an illiterate billionaire to dislike a foreign film about class warfare while idolizing a racist old film about, well, a sad Confederate woman. <sighs> that was depressing. God. That's all for what we missed. Now on to Samantha Mathis and her haunt for a leprechaun. Thank you, everybody. 